Use this quadratic equation to figure out the direction of the parabola, the y-intercept, and the x-intercepts before you graph it. Can I say that again? Sure. You are going to use this quadratic equation to find the direction of the parabola, the y-intercept, and the x-intercepts before you graph it. Let's start by determining the direction of the parabola. Here's the quadratic equation once again. x squared plus 3x minus 10. And the first thing we want to determine is the direction. To determine the direction, we're going to look at the a value. The a value in this case is a positive 1. And you find it by looking at this value right here. Because it's a positive 1, we're going to say that the direction of the parabola is up. It will be an upward-facing parabola. The second thing we want to determine is we want to determine the y-intercept. We can write the y-intercept like that. To determine the y-intercept, we're going to look at the c-value. The c-value is here. It is negative 10. So we can say that the y-intercept is going to be 0, negative 10. Now the third thing we need to determine is we need to determine the x-intercepts. And there are going to be two of them. So we're going to determine the x-intercepts of this quadratic equation. Here's the quadratic equation once again. x squared plus 3 x minus 10. Our first step in determining the x-intercepts is to factor this quadratic equation. We're going to factor it into two binomials. x squared factors into x times x. Now we need two values that multiply together to give us negative 10, but add together to give us positive 3. Let's look at 5 times 2. If we make this 5 negative, then negative 5 times 2 will give us negative 10, but when we add negative 5 plus 2, it would give us a negative 3. We need a positive 3. So let's switch around the negatives. Let's say, rather than this, we did 5 times a negative 2. That will give us negative 10, and 5 plus negative 2 will give us a positive 3. So we're going to put plus 5 here and minus 2. Now we're going to break these two binomials into two separate equations so that we can solve for the x-intercept. We have x plus 5 equals 0, and we have x minus 2 equals 0. Solve for x. We subtract 5 from both sides on this equation. These cancel. x equals negative 5. There's our first x-intercept. Now we're going to add 2 to both sides of this equation. These cancel. x is equal to positive 2. So our two x-intercepts are negative 5 and positive 2. And our work is complete.